Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars, and this is one of my favorite vehicles that I ever get in. This is a 1967 Volkswagen Beetle, and it's just a gorgeous, just the two-tone look, the iconic look. One of my favorite things this is my first one that has a sunroof in it. Just had uh, Clinton over at Moon Air Cooled service that sunroof, and it actually opens and closes. I'm not going to do it now. It's missing a couple little clips, and we're hoping to get those in in the next few days. Um, just having a problem getting parts sometimes from J-Bugs in California with the COVID-19 right now. <clears throat> but this vehicle was fully restored a couple of years ago and just about everything on it's brand new or close to it. It's beautiful. And uh, we're gonna take it for a drive right now and show you around, or we, I'm going to. So she fires right up. Even the horn works, which is kind of cool. And of course I'm holding a camera and driving a manual, so give me a little grace. driving smooth driving I will typically try to get going a little faster but for whatever reason these uh, guy in front of me is driving very slow the speedometer does work and actually uh, when I bought this car I took it out on the highway and uh, was able to get it up to like 65 miles an hour and it just drove awesome this guy is creeping Steers nice and easy. It's got new tires. The interior is so nice. I mean, it's got new carpet, new upholstery. The only thing that's not brand new is the uh, headliner. You must be looking for an address, this person in front of me. I wish I could have, uh, wish I could have gotten on it a little bit more. radio is brand new it's one of those you know look-alikes and uh, with the auxiliary and everything and I um, just didn't get it hooked up get around that guy got a great acceleration brake works it's a nice healthy Volkswagen engine love the pea you know, the sound of the little pea shooters I just love this car iconic this is like the iconic Volkswagen Beetle colors, the little black ball tires. I mean, this thing is so cool. And it, it, this is the number one color that I get the most stops. You know, people stopping me, asking me questions, you know, want to take a picture with the car, want to ask if they can borrow it for their wedding. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. So absolutely beautiful. It's not perfect. This. I wouldn't call this a show car, although the day that they turned the key on it, you know, a few years ago when they restored it, it might have been show quality. And the only reason I say that is because it has, it is a driver and it has been driven. So when we get right up on it, we're going to see a few tiny little imperfections here and there. This is not, you know, this wasn't restored and then parked in a garage and hidden. So you know, there's a little spot here, a little chip as we go around. I mean, it's super, super straight body. little spot here this is pretty common a little bit of just you know where that where it can rust and drip one little rust spot right there at the bottom of that piece of white I mean laser straight body I mean the lines on this body are just so good top is in great shape I know there was one scratch here that might have even happened when they were putting the bumper on it looks almost exactly curved it's got brand new tires. We just put the brand new portal walls on it. They look freaking amazing. And that only that one little spot. Um, doors open and close great. It's got the event window delete kit, which is really cool. 
all the upholstery on the inside is brand new new door covers new seat covers and it's been sad enough you know enough that there's one little crack right there that's not uncommon but the carpet still looks like new one little spot there i might have done that just a little from getting in and out of the shop and uh there's just a little ha wiring harness that you get for these and, and you could hook it up and i just don't have it um so we weren't able to hook it up really nice even the carpet in the back little trunk area And the trunk is super solid. Everything in here, I mean, very, very clean. Newer fuel tank or restored fuel tank. Of course, the number one question people are always asking me is, how does the wheel well look for the spare tire? So we're gonna get in there, take a look at this. Pull this carpet back. It's got a new carpet kit. Really solid, no signs of damage. This is where we can usually tell at least if it's been in a front end collision. You can always, usually they'll fix the outside, but they'll never fix the, and then your fuel tank here, which is really cool. Um, one of the things that uh, Clinton uh, observed for me, which is really cool, he, he knows everything about Beatles way more than I do, is that these are the correct 1967 bumpers. And he said they're pretty rare because it's a one year only bumper situation. So he was just observing, you know, that the way that they curve and everything, they're in great shape. And then he said too, I almost painted the wheels and he said the black and white is actually period correct for a 1967 as well. So up underneath the car, there was a couple of tiny, there was that one spot right there was the only rust spot I saw. The floor pans are original and they're in great shape. They haven't been undercoated to hide anything intentionally. I leave those and I mean, just look at the, I'm just sliding across here, all these places where we're, this is normally a spot where they rust out, what you wanna watch out for. But I mean, these are the original floor pans. And I think the only spot is, you know, the typical battery uh, spot we'll go to the other side and see and I almost had Clinton go after and just you know fix that piece of rust but since it's original I didn't want to mess with it let me look at this side as well so a couple of little tiny rust spots on the rockers and even back here it looks fine and like I said actually no there is no patch back here for the battery box which is really rare usually those are rusted out so again, original floor pan here in original, really clean condition. And just those couple of little spots. I mean, I wish I could call it a rust-free car with, if it didn't have those two little holes, one on either side, I'll sneak up here and show you this side too. Then it would be rust-free. So all things considered, extremely clean underneath. Just had the brakes serviced. The lights all work, even the horn works. I mean, it, like I said, you know, completely restored. Um, I think they told me in 2012, as the, the previous owner told me. So, and then always parked in the garage. Uh, roof rack on top is brand new. And then I just paid him. So when I bought this, the, the uh, sunroof was not functional. It was actually missing quite a few pieces and it's not uncommon for pe people to just leave it like that or to seal them up. This is brand new by the way. And it comes off. I've had a couple people buy these over the years for me. They asked me to take the roof rack off. That's fine. It's not a super expensive accessory, but I just think it looks iconic. It personally, it makes it for me. But with it being a sunroof car, if I was gonna keep this car, I probably would open the sunroof all the way and leave it parked in the garage and never close the sunroof unless I had to because of pop-up storm or something like that. So anyways, well, we look forward to hearing from you here at Peachtree Classic Cars. Take a look at our website and uh, all of our prices are on there, current inventory. So uh, look forward to getting a call from you. This thing's gonna be gorgeous in your garage.